Okay, you're watching this video because your graphics card is only running on 8 lanes instead of 16 lanes PCI Express, or the link speed of your graphics card is running at Gen 4 when it should be running at Gen 5. Or if you have an older graphics card, maybe it's running at Gen 3 when it should be running at Gen 4. So there's, there's two applications, two ways that you can tell, because some people assume that they're running at the proper specifications, but in reality they're not, and they just don't know it. GPU-Z is an application you can download that will tell you, that will give you this information. Uh, you can also look at the uh, system information um, from the help menu in under the NVIDIA control panel. That will show you how many lanes of PCI Express your graphics card is running on, whether it's running on eight lanes or the full 16 lanes. Uh, so the GPU-Z application right here under bus interface will tell you what uh, bus is supported, so 16 lanes at Gen 5 link speed, right? And then it'll tell you what it's actually running at. So when you, where you see the little at symbol here, it says at 16, which means it's running at full 16 lanes. And right now it's running at full Gen 5 link speed. And you can see it just went down to 2.0 link speed. So it's dynamic, it's changing. That is the NVIDIA driver um, that is you know, allowing the link speed to dynamically change based on the load conditions of the GPU. If we click the little question mark icon uh, right here, we can start a little render test and it should shoot up to the full uh, uh, link speed capability for the bus interface at 5.0 and it should stay at 5.0. Um, if you have a if you have a Gen 5 a PCI Express graphics card and it it caps out at 4.0, this video is going to show you how to solve that. Or if you have a you know a 4.0 card that's capping out at 3, etc., it's the same pro procedure. Okay, let's cover the hardware configuration uh, specifications and then we'll jump into the BIOS configurations and then we'll jump into some operating system configurations. Okay. Let's go ahead and start with the configuration of your PCI Express slots. This is an Asus X670E Extreme motherboard. It's an AM5 motherboard. It has three PCI Express slots. The primary slot, 16 underscore 1, is where the graphics card should be installed. And you do not want to install anything into, PCI, into these secondary and tertiary PCI Express slots if you do you will end up having what is known as a lane splitting or lane sharing scenario where uh, each device will only run, only operate on eight lanes of PCI Express. And the next is your M.2 configuration. So motherboards may have two, three, or four, or five onboard M.2 slots and just know that you'll need to refer to your motherboard manual as to the usage and configuration of those slots. Uh, in this uh, particular motherboard, if you install an M.2 into the M.2 underscore 2 slot, that's slot B, bravo, in the diagram here with the red X, uh, then your graphics card will only run at 8 lanes instead of the full 16. So basically that slot is pretty much off limits. It shouldn't be used, right, if you want maximum performance from your graphics card. I mean, that's, that, that's what you pay for, right? So just take that into consideration. Now you might be thinking, geez, I can only, you know, I can only run one M.2. No, uh, Asus, for, as an example, they have the Gen Z adapter. The Gen Z adapter is a absolutely preferred uh, for your M.2 drives. And the reason why is because it has a direct pipeline uh, to the CPU. Okay, it's not flowing through... Uh, the North, uh, North Bridge chipset or the South Bridge chipset has a direct pipeline straight to the CPU, okay? And you can put on this adapter uh, two M.2s. Slot 1 supports Gen 5, Slot 2 only supports Gen 4, but this will not affect the available PCI Express lanes of your graphics card. So I recommend using this uh, hands down. Uh, without question, and I do have a video, which I'll link at the end, that shows you how to use the Gen Z adapter, how to set it up, install the drives, configure it, all the things. So uh, this particular motherboard has a little 
dip switch at the bottom. Okay, that's number 16. It's called the alteration mode dip switch. There's three positions, far left, center, and far right. Um, if you have it set to the center position or to the far right position, you will be effectively limiting the, the um, PCI Express link speed to either Gen 4 or Gen 3 for all devices across the motherboard. So take note of that. This motherboard has it. Other motherboards might have something similar, but that is a physical configuration on the motherboard itself. Um, so you, you will have to refer to your motherboard manual. Um, but that is a little known um, feature or function. Uh, so that's something that's good to know. Now, let's jump into the BIOS. Okay, in the BIOS, go to the advanced menu. Okay, and then we're, from the advanced menu, we're going to go to PCIe subsystem settings. Uh, make sure you have above 4G decoding enabled. That's critical if you have a graphics card that has more than 4 gigs of, of onboard memory. Resize bar support also enabled. Uh, if that's disabled, your video card performance, your frame rate, and everything will be abysmal. So definitely uh, enable that. Then we're going to go back. We're going to go down to... Um, um, the North Bridge configuration, that's your North chipset. And uh, primary video device, we want to be PCIe video. That's gonna be your graphics card in the PCI Express slot. Integrated graphics, that's the integrated GPU, like all the Ryzen CPUs have integrated graphics. Uh, set that to disabled. Go back. We're gonna go into onboard device configuration. And here, uh, native ASPM, okay? Um, that's for power savings management, uh, it actively adjusts link states uh, for power saving purposes. Disable that. And then CPU PCIe uh, mode control, disable that. Um, make sure that your bandwidth bifurcation configuration is not enabled. Just leave it in auto mode. Um, the secondary P uh, 16 lane PCI Express slot, uh, just set it to PCI, uh, PCIe VI8 mode because you have only really two options here, RAID mode or VI8, leave it in VI8. The PCIe Gen 5 Redriver, disable that. That's if you install an M.2 expansion card, but you want that disabled because if you use any of these other PCI Express slots, you're gonna be doing what's what's known as lane sharing or lane splitting. We don't want that. Uh, keep scrolling down, scroll down, scroll down. If you don't use any of these, by the way, if you don't use any of these, um, you know, like the if you're not using your Intel LAN controller, you're only using the 10 gig. If you're not using Wi-Fi, you're not using Bluetooth, disable those things. Um, let's go ahead and continue to scroll down and then uh, down here where it says alteration mode switch just change that to fan profile um, under ASM let's see no PCIe uh, link speed go into here this is where we can specify the link speed on a per PCI Express slot basis including the 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 M.2 slots and the the Gen Z adapter slot so dim uh, 2 1 and DIM 2 2, that's your Gen Z um, adapter uh, card that you know slots in near your memory uh, for your M.2 drives. Um, 2.1 is a Gen 5 slot and 2.2 is a Gen 4 slot. Uh, my recommendation, you know, to avoid lane sharing, lane splitting is to only install one M.2, a singular M.2, into the uh, 2.1 slot, set it to Gen 5. Uh, if you're using a Gen 5 M.2, uh, we want um, the primary uh, PCI Express slot number one to be set to Gen 5. Um, M2.2, we're not using that slot because then we're going to run into a lane sharing lane splitting situation. Leave it on auto. We're not using the secondary 16 lane PCI Express slot. Leave it on auto. Again, if you use that, you're going to run into lane splitting. That's going to significantly degrade your video card performance. M.2.1 link mode. Uh, so that's the... Um, primary onboard M.2 slot. Uh, I have a 990 Pro in there, which is a Gen 4, so I have it on Gen 4. The chipset, okay, so the North and South chipset, right? Uh, these max out at Gen 4 um, link speed, so we're just gonna hard set those uh, to Gen 4. And those fundamentally are the settings in the BIOS. Now let's look at some settings that we have to uh, adjust in the operating system. Okay, now, um... We're going to look at some operating system and NVIDIA control panel configurations. So in the Windows operating system, go to your control panel. 
go to Power Options, you want to use your high performance power profile, especially when gaming or doing any kind of productivity that's GPU intensive. Um, go to Change Plan Settings, Change Advanced Power Settings. Okay, that's going to open a little pop up window here. We'll go to PCI Express and Link State Power Management, and we will disable that. So set it to off. Okay. And then we can exit out of the control panel. And in the NVIDIA control panel, um, you want to go to program settings, like for your games, okay, for your games, right? And configure your games accordingly. So low latency mode, you want that to be set to ultra. Um, power management mode, prefer maximum performance. That's absolutely essential for the PCI Express link state management. And refresh rate, obviously highest available. Threaded optimization, okay, let's change that to on. Vertical sync, set it to off. Okay, so those are my recommended default settings right out of the gate. There's obviously other things in here you can play with, but in terms of just maximizing performance right out of the box, uh, those are the settings. Now, under global settings, you know, um, I recommend rolling with the defaults because, you know, if you're not in a particular application and you're just, you know, cruising along on the desktop, like, right, um, everything that's here is, is totally fine, right? Um, so that's it. I mean, that should do it. And, you know, then when you, um, when you open up the GPU-Z application, uh, you just want to check it out right here. Just check it out, you know, open up the little renderer test and make sure that you're maxing out on your full 16 lanes at your generation spec. If your graphics card is a Gen, PCIe Gen 5, it should be hitting that 5. If it's a Gen, you know, a Gen 4, it should be hitting Gen 4, right? Um, and definitely at 16 lanes because otherwise you're losing out on a tremendous amount of performance, a tremendous amount.